So test number one, just sitting on the desk. And I'll let these run for a while to see what the average dose is. Okay, after one hour, we're at a dose of 0 0.0984 micro sivens, however that's pronounced. Oh, actually, you can see this uh, with the back lid off. Uh, the other one doesn't have accumulated dose uh, large enough yet. But the rate on both of them, hmm, more or less the same. The average on the, the one on the left is 0 0.08, and the one on the right is 0 0.097, uh, within probably normal error. So I'm just going to let it run a tiny bit longer, and then go outside. Okay, this is being shot outside. I set this up about uh, 30 seconds ago on top of a bag of potassium chloride. And I'm now going to let this run for about an hour. And then we'll take a look at the dosages. Okay, it's been about an hour. I'm just going to... Okay, that one's easy to see. This one here. Get it out in the sunlight. Ah, back inside where it's a tad warmer. So comparing these two on the low level, uh, the bench, uh, there's a slight discrepancy. Um, if you calculate it out over a year, there's only about 1 or 0 0.1 uh, milli C vert. I'll say it right eventually per year. And to give you an idea, uh, Vancouver, BC, the government says your average dose is 1.2 milli C vert uh, per year. So, yeah, not too bad uh, on the low scale. A bit higher up with the potassium chloride because the potassium is slightly radioactive, or some of the isotopes are. Uh, was at 0.35 um, micro sievert, and um, this one here was at 0.54. Uh, when you work it out over a year, uh, obviously you shouldn't be sitting on a bag of uh, potassium chloride. Uh, 3 milli sievert uh, versus 4.7 uh, milli sievert. So right now. Uh, Comparison's pretty good. So I'm going to step it up one level and pull out the Coleman Lantern. So we'll see what numbers we get now. So this one here was reading 1.53 microsieverts per hour, which works out to 13.4 millisieverts per hour or per year. Uh, this one here has two tubes in it. The left side uh, was actually quite low, whereas the right side is the more sensitive tube, I believe. And it was reading two uh, micro sieverts per hour, which works out to be 17.2 millisieverts per hour or per year. And so there's about a 77. This one's about 77 percent of this one. And then when you compare that with these ones here, uh, this one here was 36% lower. So it just looks like this one is more sensitive. Now, does it make that much of a difference? Probably not uh, for these lower levels. Uh, but to give you an idea of what is considered normal, the Canadian Nuclear Safety uh, Commission the average readings for us is, uh, well, for Toronto, 1.59 uh, millisieverts per year, 1.25 for Vancouver, 1.62 for Montreal, 2.4 for Edmonton, 
2.5 for Halifax, Canadian average 1.77, US average 3. Yang, Ying, whatever, China, 6.3 milli server per, uh, per year. And Kara, Keralala, whatever coast in India, 12.5 milli server uh, per year. So, off the top, just looking at these, if you just need something to detect radiation, um, normal stuff uh, this one does work and like it's $42 this is over $200 now I will add in here a short little clip or at least a picture when I had my nuclear medicine done and this one was able to record the retardedly high numbers and this one would have failed uh, the sensitivity on this one is uh, lower and the maximum count rate is lower and if you take a look at the numbers right now it seems to have hit a nice spot where it's decided to decay a bit faster and the numbers have literally doubled but still way low